between the two continents fills to create a vast ocean. The Atlantic. And there in the middle, a volcano. We've seen plates move before. We know it's caused by currents deep beneath the Earth's crust. This process is happening down there, right now. The entire sea floor has been torn in two and pushed up into a ridge of mountains and volcanoes. It's growing higher than the Himalayas and longer than the Rockies. The water's hot here. Molten lava is forcing its way out from deep inside the Earth. As the lava cools, it's creating a new range of volcanic mountains and new ocean floor. This is what's pushing the plates and Pangaea apart and rearranging our world. It's this geological activity that makes the Earth restless, creative, unique. And every time the planet reinvents itself, the things that live on it must adapt and evolve. Things like these, they're ichthyosaurs. Their reptile ancestors lived on land, but as the planet changed, so did they. They grew fins, and moved into the newly formed Atlantic Ocean. This one is six meters long and fast. It travels at about 40 kilometers an hour. It's the ocean's fastest creature, the most efficient predator, and it's ruled the Earth's oceans for 50 million years. for the crown. A pliosaur. Longer than a bus, as heavy as a truck. Its jaws are immense, over eight times more powerful than a great white shark's and its teeth are 30 centimeters long. The Earth and the creatures that live on it has changed beyond recognition. This was once solid ground. Now it's the Atlantic Ocean. It was on this very spot that we stood and watched amasaurs graze and dilophosaurs stalk their prey. The dinosaur's world may be different, but they're as dominant as ever. They appear invincible. It's a shrew-like mammal, and it's evolved from the small number of mammals that survived the mass extinction 185 million years ago. It's also prey for the dinosaurs. 
This is why most mammals live in the trees or underground and venture out at night. Mammals are no threat to the dinosaurs. Nothing on Earth can challenge their dominance. Nothing on Earth. It's a lump of space rock, a large one. This asteroid is about 10 kilometers across. Bigger than Mount Everest. And it's traveling at over 70,000 kilometers an hour, straight towards the Earth. It's heading for the Gulf of Mexico, just off the Yucatan Peninsula. It travels so fast, blink and we'd miss the impact, unless we slow down time. It's a split second that will change the world forever. of impact, the asteroid's back edge is still at nearly 11,000 meters, the same height as a commercial aircraft flies. The asteroid strikes with such immense force it destroys everything it hits. Even the asteroid itself instantly vaporizes. The impact unleashes the energy of millions of nuclear weapons. Nowhere is safe, not even way up here. Some of these boulders are as big as entire city blocks. wave races out from the impact zone like shrapnel from an exploding bomb. after impact, thousands of kilometers from where the asteroid struck, the Earth is under attack from every direction. Boulders rain down. Earthquakes shake the ground. And tsunamis to the coasts. But the onslaught has only just begun. 
the plume of molten rock and dust 